I wanted to get to the mic before Mrs. Dickens could get here and dismiss all of you because we would like to recognize Mrs. Dickens today with a special honor. As you know, uh, or at least uh, may know, Mrs. Dickens has uh, resigned her position here as principal at Lakers to go on to a new career, something that she refers to as her dream career, and that is going to be as the, uh, the executive director of the, um, I want to call it the Four Corners Community Foundation down in the Elmont area. She'll be relocating. She and her husband are building a new home there, and they'll be leaving this community. We will, however, be able to retain Mrs. Dickens as a grant writer, that she is uh, something she's had so much passion for doing and has done so well here at Lakers. Um, so we will still have a connection with her, and that was important to us and to her because, um, come on up, Mrs. Dickens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mrs. Dickens, will you come forward? Uh, she will hate every minute of this um, because she's not one to, uh, to look for recognition in public places. And that's one of the things that's made her so great here during her time at Lakers. Um, so she will, be, she will be starting a new career. She's already began to transition into that. And uh, we still have her here for a couple of days a week for special events like this, and we get to see her through the end of the school year uh, from time to time. But uh, it was important to the students that they had an opportunity to recognize her for all that, they, that she has meant to them. Um, in addition to what she's meant to us and our administrative staff and our community, the kids are the ones that get to know her and appreciate her and love her every day uh, for all the care and things that she gives to them. So. Um, do you want her to come up here? If you would just come over here in front of the stage, Mrs. Dickens. I explained that my job was to get to the mic before you did, so you can't tell them all that they're free to leave. Okay. And I'll hand over now to our school counselor, Mrs. Crone, who will uh, share this honor with Mrs. Dickens. Giving the eye right now for Mrs. Dickens, so she really loves this. Um, I will not be nearly as eloquent as Mr. Kine, um, but Mrs. Dickens, there are 420 some kids and about 50 plus staff that are very sad to see you go. And um, Mrs. Arkey has been working with them, and they have a special surprise for you. Um, however, it was an idea of one of um, the staff members that. We gift you a token of our appreciation. And while nothing that we could ever give to you or say to you would ever truly express just how much you have meant, not only um, to each one of these students, but to a number of the parents who you had as students and parents that you have worked with, um, we have just a little something. And so I have two fine young gentlemen here that would like to present something to you and I think say something just a little quick. So I have Josh and Austin. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Right. So in case you're wondering what it is, it is a book that each student and staff has created a page and written a letter to Mrs. Dickens about a memory that they have of her or something that um, they appreciate about her. So I have peeked at a couple of the pages and you're gonna love it. So, um, at this point, so at this point, Mrs. Dickens, we have another gift from the kids. And so I'm gonna turn this over to Mrs. Arkey. It's the gift of song, which I know you love also. Yeah. 
I'm really not one to cry, but there goes that. Um, so yeah, Mrs. Starnfink's doing this on purpose to get back at me for all the years I made her stand and take recognition she did not want. But uh, I have been absolutely blessed to be here for the many years that I have at Lakers, primarily at the junior high and then kind of putting my capstone on my career here at the elementary. And I just have to say that my heart and my soul have received so much more from the students than I have ever given them. And so I, well, I thank you, but I'm not going to sing to you because I love you. <laughs> Uh, so I so appreciate that this book will now be, some of you who've been in my office know that I keep with me some of my favorite books and I share them with you when you have a difficult moment. I always offer a hug and I always offer a book. Well, guess what is my favorite book now? This one. It will go with me wherever I go in the rest of my life and you will always be in my heart. So thank you so much for the song, thank you so much for the moments, and thank you so much for the good memories. I love each and every one of you. I love every kid I've ever met here at Lakers. So my heart's always gonna be green and white, first for Spartans and then for Lakers. Just had to put that in there. All right, thank you very much.